Hello everybody, this is Derek. Hope everyone is doing magnificent. Today is Wednesday the 25th of November 2009. Well, the stock markets, they made a little bit, but they lost because the dollar got hammered again today, down over 1% or 80 basis points. There was a big level of support at 74 spot 75. It went right through it down to 74 spot 25 and it is now at the lowest levels it has been since the uh, breakout in August of 2008 and when it broke out from the all-time lows in 2008 it managed to make some nice little gains but since then it has now given back almost 83 percent of its gains and on a technical level Generally speaking, the most you want to give back on a price correction is between 60 and 65 percent. That's the most you want to give up. Usually when it gives up more, it becomes a failed move and it's going to give the rest up and then some more. And I think it's just an obvious point that that's going to be the case. 70.7 being a very, very big uh, low breaking that and breaking 70 to the downside will get us in a range between 60 and 70. This is probably the atmosphere that's going to be used where other countries are going to continue seeing more that the US dollar is not where they want to be at and these would be the, the more stuff would be done towards the US losing its status of the Federal Reserve or as, as the uh, number one currency and as far as the Federal Reserve the steps towards ending the Federal Reserve and this would probably be a 2010 thing but uh, who knows what happens in the month of December as a lot of things are happening very very fast right now. Gold was up about uh, another 20 bucks today or about uh, 2% or it's up to about 1190 and we're very close now to that 1200 I was not sure exactly how we would get from a thousand to twelve hundred. I wasn't sure if we'd have eighty or seventy point days to get there. That has not been the case as the biggest day seems to be twenty seven, twenty eight points up, but it has been shipping away to twelve hundred. And uh, I was watching a video today from Fox Business News, uh, the link is in the more info for it. Deborah Danielson was stating that Gold is a currency of fear. I will agree that it is a currency of fear, of fear, but she's very bearish on gold in the long run, as am I, but my long run is different than hers. Her long run was a few months. My long run is a few years, as I'm expecting gold to go a heck of a lot higher, and as materialism falls in this world, that's when I would start to see it going lower. But as people are starting to realize that the dollars aren't safe, gold's going to continue to uh, keep going higher. There may be price corrections along the way, but uh, nonetheless, that's what I'm saying. That's not what she said. But what she was saying was no fundamentals support gold going higher when, if anything, the fundamentals support it to go higher because of all the extra printed money, the bailouts, and uh, that's the reason why the fundamentals are there for it to go higher. And, uh, but then she's coming up stating that she was surprised that it got this high. Surprise, surprise. And that it does very well when the economic conditions are in a fear state or in a panic state. But when the conditions are very good, that's when you want, you'll expect to see gold to go down. And what she's doing is she's assuming that the economic recovery that has been stated by many mainstream channels, talked about by the President Barack Obama, Timothy Geithner, Ben Bernanke, the list of these people goes on and on and on, that they're assuming that it's actually going to work, when in reality it can't. An economic recovery is very possible, but that's not the direction to make the recovery happen. Because you got to let the cards fall so that you can build a new house. You let the house of cards fall and then you rebuild. Right now the house needs to get destroyed. Because how many times have you seen a house 140 years old and expect uh, it to recover without tearing it down and rebuilding a new one? It's the same kind of uh, theology, I believe, as far as gold and uh, the economy is concerned. 
This chart here is a yearly chart for gold. Each one of these candles, mainly green candles, represents the yearly data that it has. And it's very clear to see that it is in an uptrend right now as we are making a very easy pattern of lower or the higher lows on each one of these uh, years and each one of these years has made a higher high and since 2001 2002 every single year has had a higher high and a higher low and some might say that's up too much and I'm going to do a documentary or a sorry a webinar very soon I was stating I was going to do it Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now it's going to be mainly Saturday, Sunday, Monday, maybe Tuesday where I'm going to get it up. And that's one of the things that I want to focus up is up too much and down too much and how that is only that of a myth. There really isn't no such thing as, well, it's up too much, I got to get out now. As uh, markets can continuously go up as long as there's people really will, still willing to be buying, markets can be going lower as long as people are still willing to be selling. And right now there is no signs of people wanting to stop buying gold and wanting to sell their gold profits at least to a scale that would bring the price of gold lower. Now there's going to be corrections along the way as the short term and intermediate time are going to have market corrections which is another thing that I want to talk about on the webinar is how corrections work on multiple time frames and if you see gold go back to a thousand there's no reason to panic on that if anything it's a reason to be able to get yourself more metals because price corrections are very very normal and that thousand dollar level is a master level that is yet to have been tested as support since it's had its big gains now as far as gold three, four, five thousand is concerned, when we look at this chart here, we need to break this chart to the upside. And I think it's going to do that either sometime in 2010, and if not then, by early 2011. And when this happens, that's going to be massive. We're talking gold, having 300, 400 point up days. Of course, by then gold would be 16, 17, 1800, maybe over $2,000 an ounce. And when, that's, when this happens, I mean, that's going to be a heck of a lot more fearful, at least in my opinion anyway. So I'm going to end this video at that. Um, thanks for watching, commenting, rating, subscribing, all that good stuff. Peace and light. Bye-bye.